right, guys, so I'm super excited to bring to you guys this bob haircut. We're gonna cut a basic bob today. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. Uh, there's gonna be a ton of techniques packed into this video, so I uh, can't wait to share it with you. So to get everything started, we took a right-hand side parting, followed that through, right down center back, and then I sectioned off basically from underneath the crown down to behind the ear, and then from the occipital bone or a little bit below occipital bone, uh, slight diagonal forward over. And what I'm doing with the scissor now is I'm cutting a nice blunt line in the back to start my guide. Notice that I've got zero elevation happening uh, with the hair. So I comb it down. I use the wide teeth of the comb as I work through it. I clip everything away, keep everything nice and clean using the wide teeth of that comb, but then I leave the comb out of it as I cut this blunt line. So this blunt line is gonna be my guideline until I get to the occipital bone, then I'm gonna to start to elevate the hair a little bit. So another key thing here, notice that I put the comb in the hair and I just pull it back because what a square bob is, is cutting that square blunt line in the back of the head. So I don't wanna round off the corner. I wanna pull that corner back to me, keep it nice horizontal flat, uh, basically square with my shoulders as I cut through. Now, what I wanna show you guys is after the occipital bone, notice how the head starts to peel away. So that's gonna change our elevation as we're cutting through this haircut. So you wanna be aware where that head starts to curve away, and that's when you're gonna to start to elevate. So I continue through doing the same thing right here, and then we're gonna start elevating as we work through the next sections. So now I take slight diagonal forward partings, we're gonna be working vertical instead of horizontal, elevating the hair right where the head starts to bend up, and that's where we're gonna start our graduation. So I take that parting, I pull the hair back into my hand, I use the bottom part that I already cut as my guide, and I start to create uh, my elevated graduation to here. So you'll notice right around the tip of my fingers, uh, the hair is at a little bit above zero degrees. Uh, almost at that zero, between zero and 45, that's the easiest way to say it. So as I'm lifting it up, um, I want to be aware that that top part of my finger, I don't want it to be too heavy. So keep that elevation between that zero and 45 degrees so that you get a nice balanced graduation through it. Now here's something that a lot of us are going to want to do is follow um, where they see that guide pulling away underneath. I want to continue that line and not even worry about the bottom part uh, in the inside of my finger. I want to let that fall down. So I'm going to show you guys as I cut it here and I let it go, it's going to disconnect. That disconnection is a great thing because that pushed weight behind the ear and then I can go through and just cut that weight off instead of following that line and then having um, a hole which is where we never wanna go when we're cutting these haircuts. So um, you can see I check, I do a little cross checking, make sure I got a nice horizontal line still, because even though we switched to our fingers, we work traveling guide all the way across, staying in that box, cutting that square shape. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Uh, one thing I want you guys to notice here is how I backhand cut across the back uh, to push, that, uh, push the hair as I cut it from the center out. So I did the same thing on the opposite side, so I wanna mimic it and do the same thing on the right side. Now, as I continue up through that, uh, one thing I wanna reach out to you guys as you're watching this, I wanted to leave, uh, not speed anything up. I really want you guys to, to see exactly what I'm doing through it. I don't need to talk through the whole thing, but if you're enjoying this video, definitely hit the like button uh, and also share this on whatever platform you can because I really appreciate uh, you guys watching this video and I'd love to share the love, spread it out there, uh, get all of your colleagues watching this video so they can learn to cut a bob. Um, with purpose, and that's the point of this video here. So still one length, no um, no tension. That helps with any calyx that happen in the back. A lot of questions that I get are, how do I cut a bob if they have calyx? Well, you just don't pull tension on it. 
you let the hair do what it wants to do naturally and then that's how you cut it because that's how it's going to fall um, when you're not with them anyway so a golden rule to cutting a bob is your thumb is always pointing in the direction you're going so now that we're moving to the right my hand is now pointed down and that allows my comb to then take the new hair pull it to the guideline uh, and then cut it at the guide so remember we're traveling across the back of the head um, but think of it as a horizontal line, even though you're holding it vertical, you want that horizontal line to be flat and straight across the back. Um, if you were standing looking at the head, you want it to be balanced with your shoulders. So just work your way through that back section, over directing everything back. When you get to behind the ear, pull it straight back, uh, not over, but straight back and pretend like you're in a box and that'll get you that square line in the back. I'll pull it back, do a little cross-checking. So what I'm doing now is I'm really working through the back of the head and I'm working until there's no longer hair that's going to fall to the back of the head, if that makes sense. So what I'm trying to do is just uh, cut everything in that square back fashion, bringing everything back. And then as soon as the hair is only going to fall on the side, then I'll move to the side and I'll start cutting the side. But until then, I want to finish off this section. So you can see that I bring everything back. Even though I'm going to cut this again, uh, it's over directing it, it's pushing it forward. We're going to cut all that weight off in the end, but I'm focused on the back right now. And that's what I want to do is just work my way through it. So now I've finished the back sections. So now I'm going to start focusing on the side. So I take a horizontal section across, comb everything up and away nice and clean, clip it away. And then I'm going to cut my blunt line starting on the bottom with no tension, just like we did in the back. So I connect those two points starting at the back point and then connect through to where I want that hair to lay. So what I'm doing is mimicking the jaw line as I cut through it. So you'll notice now that there's a slight elevation uh, and the reason for that is as the head starts to move and, and kind of curve away, that's when it will get heavier if I keep cutting it blunt in the bottom. So what I do is I do a slight elevation just to take a little bit of that weight out, soften the weight line a little bit uh, in the outer perimeter. So I just work through it. Again, I'm not trying to elevate too high. I'm not trying to layer the bob. I just want to do a slight elevation throughout the top. So 
that's side one. Now what I'm going to do is continue uh, to cut the back of the left hand side and I'll keep working through until none of the hair is going to fall into the back and then we'll move into the sides of the left side. So I want to share with you guys, a lot of you guys ask about my comb. Uh, this is the limited edition pride comb uh, from YS Park. It's a 339 comb. Whether it's the pride colors or not, 339 comb is my favorite comb uh, that I have and I use it a lot. Uh, and we also sell it on our online shop. So you can check any of the, um, the links in the description of this video uh, to shop for those. They're on our shop, like I said, shopfse.com. Uh, you can pick it up on there for a limited time on this specific comb. But if you're looking for a new comb, uh, something that fits perfect for precision cutting, the YS Park 339 is one of my favorites. And then I'm also using Mizutani scissors. Uh, this is the Matt Beck edition uh, version one. So you can get that on our website as well. Uh, we have payment plans available for scissors. So if you're looking for uh, upgrading any of your tools, cl combs, clips, scissors, all of that stuff, we have it on shopfse.com. So the overhead view really shows kind of uh, how I'm overdirecting everything back, but keeping it nice and square in the back. So watch my finger angle shift so it stays flat, stays parallel to the back of the head and works through it. This view also really showcases how some of that hair is still falling over in the back. So that's what I'll over direct back, finish it off, then move to the side. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the left side that we did on the right. So we take a horizontal line, across, I'll clip the rest away, and then I'll work my guideline from the back graduation that we started, and I'm just gonna follow the jawline and cut a blunt line across, no elevation, no tension, just working my way through. Also something interesting, those of you guys that don't watch um, the live classes that we do, this is actually uh, cut from a live class that we did, uh, which is cool because it's interactive and you can ask me questions. It's totally free, uh, which is another great part. And if you want to be a part of those classes, all you got to do is text me 215-608-2612. Uh, uh, again, that's 215-608-2612. Um, just text me, say hi, or say, I want, I want to know about the classes. You can say whatever you want. Uh, and then I'll text you back and it'll get you a little bit more information. And then, uh, I can text you whenever I go live so that you can be a part of those classes as well. You can join the ones that you can, but it's just as easy as clicking a link, coming over, joining us on YouTube. Uh, you know, we have thousands of stylists watching these classes a week, and I'd love for you to be a part of it, kind of be a part of our community. It makes it a little bit easier as I'm doing these, you know, they're maybe an hour, hour and a half class, but at least you can ask questions and I can answer them back. It's a, it's a lot better communication, which is really nice. Obviously these videos are great as well. Um, but if you get a chance to be a part of the live class, it'd be awesome. Uh, here's Moroccan oil. This is a smooth, um, blow dry 
serum, I guess you could call it. It's not really a serum. It's a blow dry concentrate. Uh, but what I love about it, and, and I'm testing out these Moroccan oil products. They sent me a big box of them uh, and I'm really loving it. So thank you to Moroccan oil for that. Uh, this is not a sponsored video at this point. Uh, but what I would say is that every single product that I've touched from Moroccan oil, I absolutely love. Uh, and I'm excited to continue working with the products, discovering things about them. Uh, this one I put in because I really wanted a nice smooth finish to the hair, uh, smooth, shiny blow dry. So um, felt like it worked really well in the hair. Felt like my blow dry time went real fast. Um, you know, just felt like the hair was real healthy and shiny. You can see the shine on it uh, as I'm smoothing it out towards the end. So I polish it, do a flat wrap blow dry. Then I go through with the iron, polish mid shaft to ends, smooth it out. And I'm going to show you guys a couple dry cutting techniques that really help finish off your graduated bobs. So where a lot of people might say, you know, this is, this looks good. So, um, I want to go the step further. I want to take it and share with you guys some techniques that will really help finish it off. So we're going to use Moroccan oil finishing spray. This is a trick that I would use just any hairspray that you have, spray it through the hair, get the hair laying exactly where you want it. And then I'm going to go in with a clipper fully closed. So as tight as the blade will go. And I just dust off the ends and work that through just really fine tuning the outer perimeter and also the graduation just a little bit. So it's, it's such a cool technique to just soften uh, lines and work your way through. And you could do it with a scissor, but for me, in this day and age, the way the industry is, um, I'm all about uh, using techniques that speed up the time it takes to do things in the salon because we can't take as many clients at this moment. Um, you know, hopefully two years from now when this video is two years old, it's not that way, but uh, for now, we can take one client at a time and we work our way through. So any techniques that we can do to save time in the salon, I'm all about. So I use the clipper through it, use a trimmer through it, and then detail it with my scissor. So I use all the tools that I have in my toolbox to get this client uh, his hair as beautiful as possible, uh, like you can see here, and as fast as we can do it. So hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure you join our community on FSE Now, the app. It's free, uh, so download that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to share another video with you soon. 